Yo, what's happening boys and girls? It's your boy Zach back in the house with another workout video and you know what time it is. Just collected a little bit of footage these past few days. First clip I'm gonna roll is actually a raw clip with audio of my final set of deadlifts. So that ended up being the only clip I actually recorded from my back workout, which was yesterday, uh, Veterans Day, November 11th. And then these clips are actually from November 10th, quick chest workout, did some abs as well. Beforehand, you can see right here, doing some dips, just kind of checking my progress. I really like the lighting in this room as well. It's better than some of the other rooms where some of the colors are off and also the the lights overhead are a bit too bright for somebody as white as me. So after that, uh, actually I started off my workout with this this ab work right here. And uh, I know I talked about a few videos ago that I haven't been adding weight to my feet for the hanging leg raises, but I did decide to do that today just because I can you know, do 30 plus reps for sets. And uh, I'm all about efficiency, especially with abs and calves. I like to move through those exercises pretty quickly. You guys know I'm putting them at the beginning of the workout, but I also only want them to take up about 15 minutes of the training session. And then after that, so the hanging leg raises, more lower abdominals since you're driving your legs up towards your chest. And then right here, cable crunches with a rope. It's gonna be more upper because you're bringing your torso down towards your lower half. Uh, you can see right here, I don't go all the way up. I don't want my spine to be in extension. Sometimes that's actually bothered me in the past by going too high. So I'm trying to keep constant tension in sort of the, the bottom half or the bottom two-thirds of the movement right here. You can see I sit back on my heels just a little bit, and then I try to fold over almost like a turtle shell right at the end, blowing the air out as I come down, Blow, like you're blowing through a straw. It's a really good tip blow through a straw. You guys have heard me talk about that before. That will help you further engage your abdominals and all the other muscles that do stabilize your spine. Remember, it's not just about the look of your abdominals. It's also about spine health. You know, 85% of Americans at some point will suffer from lower back pain, myself included. I suffered from lower back pain forever. I still get lower back tightness, but it's not nearly as sharp. I really only have uh, real pointed lower back tightness once in a blue moon nowadays. And I credit a lot of that to my increased abdominal training. So always remember, it's not just the look, trying to get six-pack abs. It's also about function and overall pain management and pain reduction. So after that, just a few clips from my chest workout. Uh, I started off with pec deck and then did a drop set, which you guys saw right there. And then first exercise, I moved on to incline dumbbell press. I believe I did four sets of... 12 reps here. I kept the bench a little bit lower than I usually do. Usually I'm at about 45 degrees, but I notice that there's just a ton of shoulder involvement when I do that. And uh, sometimes I do get that anterior pain as well in the front of my left shoulder. So I opted for a little bit lower incline and I actually really enjoyed it. And you can actually see, I usually tuck my elbows quite a bit, which I think is part of the reason my triceps have become very developed just to protect my shoulder but I'm actually trying to flare my elbows just a little bit more as long as I'm warm and uh, made sure I did you know, some pec stretching, some lat stretching, and also shoulder circles and whatnot to get my, my shoulder loose before I started pressing. So uh, after that, once again, another incline movement right here. Uh, incline chest, is, I've asked people, you know, it's a, it's a big focus. I don't have a ton of chest thickness really anywhere, but I would say my upper chest is certainly lagging behind, especially the outer part of my chest, which I feel like is halfway decent. So I uh, worked up to 45 plus 30 on each side for part set of 12. And then I just decided to drop the weight real quick. And this was a set of 20. You can see the last five reps, I actually let it rest all the way down at the start and then drive up. And I feel like it really activates the chest well, because the chest is going to help drive the weight 
out of the bottom initially. So you guys might want to give that a shot. You'll get extra reps and you'll actually feel your chest engage even harder than you would if you just kept going with no pause at the bottom. And uh, there were some other clips here, but I wanted to keep this short, uh, just showing you guys one of the pet fly variations. And today, in, in general, I'm going to start working on that one count squeeze at my chest. I definitely got a better chest pump here, and uh, I felt like more of the work was happening in my chest and less in my biceps. So nice and short, guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys soon.